Hey everybody, in this one we are going to go over the Unusual Whales Options Profit Calculator. The OPC is a must-have tool to project the potential profitability or losses of options chains and strategies. In this video we'll give a brief overview on how to navigate the OPC and after that we'll dive deeper into different option strategies and how you can visualize those strategies in the Options Profit Calculator. Before we deep dive into this, let's go over some navigation of the tool. Now to find the equity or ticker you want to view in the OPC, you'll type that ticker into the search bar at the top. Here we're going to go ahead and use Apple as an example today. Once you've selected a ticker, it'll display in this box in the middle top where it has some information about the ticker's options flow for the day, for example the open interest, puts versus calls and the total daily volume. From here you can also navigate to the company's analyst page, the company profile, and you can even navigate directly to the flow feed for that ticker. Now up to the right of the search bar is a little build dropdown. What that will do when you click it is it'll open up a list of pre-built option strategies. When you hover over each strategy, you'll get a display that outlines the purpose and goals of any given strategy, as well as the profit and loss projections for the pre-built strikes. Now we're going to start off fairly simple here and just go with a long call on Apple to demonstrate the OPC, and then after that we'll build it out into an option spread. So starting us off here, let's go ahead and pick a strike. We want Apple to go up, and we want to project how a position will change should that happen, or should the opposite happen. So just for the example, we're going to choose the $175 call for May 17th, 2024. When you hover your mouse over that contract, it'll pop out a window with some information, including the open interest and volume for the contract, as well as the Greeks for that contract. So now I've selected the strike and expiration date that I want. I'll go ahead and close this window and it'll be generated below us here. Now on this box above the strategy builder, we have these buttons for call, which just opens that window we were just looking at, and then put if you want to add a put and turn it into a spread. And we also have this reposition where you can choose first which dates data you're looking at. So if you notice down below when I click this previous and next on date to use, that data will update in real time. The same goes if you change the expiration date. So now we have our $175 call for May 17th generated in the strategy builder down here. On the contract, you get a little information like the implied volatility, the mark, meaning the last fill price that that contract transacted, as well as the Greeks. Under the gain column, you have this little performance button. When you click that, it shows you the profit and loss profile and the volume profile for that contract over time. You can even adjust how you're viewing that information via the reposition toggle, where you can change this to view the data from April 16th, for example. Now below our contract, we have an add call and add put button, as well as a flip button. When you click flip, it inverses that position. So instead of buying a call, the OPC will now display a shorted call and all of the same data therein. Below that we have the net debit, meaning the amount of money it costs the trader to open the position. In this case we're only getting one call contract at $298 per contract, so our net debit for this position is $298. That is also the maximum loss. On a naked call the only amount of money you can lose is the amount of money that you put in to begin with. The max profit is set to unlimited because hypothetically the value of this call contract can go up indefinitely because there's hypothetically no ceiling to how high a stock price can go. 
Down below, we can visualize this profit and loss potential for this contract over time at varying different prices in the underlying stock price. For example, if this contract expires out of the money, meaning the Apple stock price closes on May 17th, below $175 per share, this contract will expire worthless, meaning the trader would lose the entirety of the $298 they put in to buy that contract. As another example, if Apple closes at $169.20 per share on April 19th, two days after this trade was entered at $298 per contract, the contract would have a profit of $4.70 at that time. However, on April 22nd, if it's at the same price, due to the Greek known as theta, which is the deterioration in that contract's value over time as it nears the expiration date, it'll be worth even less. So on April 22nd, all other things neutral, meaning the stock price stays the same, nothing else changes, that $4.70 profit from the day before is now $22.80 in losses. In order for this contract to work its way towards higher profit potential, Apple's stock price needs to clear that $175 and bring this contract in the money. The further in the money this contract goes, the more valuable it becomes. So for example, if Apple trades all the way up there at $197.70, this contract has a profit of $2,000. Now, whether or not that's likely is up to the market. You can also see this profit and loss as a chart down below, where you can also toggle on the break-even price at the time of expiration. In order for this contract to break even in terms of intrinsic value, Apple needs to be trading at $177.98 by the date of expiration on May 17th. Now within this, you can also toggle the date ranges, just like in the profit and loss table where we could view stock price against different dates up until expiration, you can do the same here. And you'll see as we did that, the break even price shifts with the date range. So for example, if we slide this over to May 6th, in order for this price to break even on May 6th, Apple needs to be trading at $173.89 per share. Now we're going to build off the $175 call and turn it into a spread. With this spread, we still want to have a bullish bias. To do this, we'll click transform and scroll down to a call debit spread, also known as a bull call spread. Now, once you click on that, the tool will automatically modify the strategy builder to include the new leg of your spread. A call debit spread is a bullish strategy not dissimilar from buying a naked call. However, it offers a little bit of protection against losses. To open a call debit spread, you buy one call strike, in this case, the $175 call, and sell another call at a higher strike, both for the same expiration. Our OPC has generated the $180 strike for us here on the short side. The cost to open a bull call spread is the price paid for the long call, in this case, $289, minus the credit received for the shorted $180 strike, $158. Therefore, the cost to open this spread is 131 instead of the 289 it would have been for just the 175 call. As the stock price rises, so will the value of both of the strikes in the spread. Since we're also short the $180 call, we will lose money on that strike while we gain money on the 175. The max profit for a bull call spread is the width of the spread minus the debit you paid to enter. So in this case, the width of the spread is $5, 175 to 180. The debit to enter was 131. So five minus 131 is 369. That is our max profit for this trade. 
And you can also change around how wide that spread is by clicking reposition. If you want that spread to be 10, you can click the upper range and expand it, or you can click the lower range and expand it downward. But we're gonna leave these as they were. We can visualize how we can get to that max profit by using the P&L table below. The max profit for a call debit spread occurs at and above the shorted strike price. So in this case, if Apple trades above $180 per share at the time of expiration on May 17th, the max profitability will be reached. Now, as you can see, in order to reach that profitability sooner, Apple would need to make a much more dramatic move to the upside. You can even click on this zoom in button to see the P&L more closely with tighter underlying ranges. We can visualize this further on the profit and loss chart. Setting it to the date of expiration, the break-even price on this trade would be around $176.31 on the underlying stock price. When you drag your mouse across the chart, you can see the P&L at different underlying price points. Right here is where we can see the max profit on the expiration date right at and above $180 per share. And down here, we can see the max loss right at and below $175 per share. After you've built your strategy, you can create a custom link to your trade by using the Share This Trade button. And finally, just as we use the transform button to turn our long call into a call debit spread, we can also turn this into a call credit spread by clicking on this flip button. Now our strategy reflects bearish sentiment as we've shorted the lower strike and longed the higher strike. In this example, everything we discussed is reversed. We now want a downside move to happen with this call credit spread. Only this time, our max profit is the net credit we received, which is 131, and the max loss, should the stock go to the upside, is the credit received minus the spread of the strikes, so 369. You can also go through and create your own custom strategies. So to demonstrate, I'm gonna go ahead and add a put into the mix, just any random put for the demonstration. Now to save it, I'll just click on this save icon, save as new, rename it, and boom. Now you can load that new strategy you just built for any ticker in any context. One last thing I wanted to show comes straight from the flow feed. When you open up a multi-leg trade from the feed by clicking on these up-down arrows to the left of the ticker, it'll display all of the data for all contracts involved in that multi-leg transaction. At the bottom of this pop-out, there's also a strategy identifier that displays the potential strategies for that multi-leg trade. Now what I wanted to show you quick is this little button down here. If you see a multi-leg trade that interests you and you want to look at the details, profit and loss, or to modify that trade as you see fit, you can click this button. And the options profit calculator will automatically load that trade as it appeared in the flow for you to scrutinize and edit as you see fit. Thanks everyone, I hope this helps. And stay on the lookout for our next video to help you walk through the Unusual Whales platform.